If you have property in your home country, do not sell it. Let's say you get a green card in the US. The green card only allows you to stay in the US. It doesn't actually allow you to start utilizing all its benefits, especially social security benefits and Medicare, Medicaid type of benefits. To receive social security benefits, you need to have paid social security taxes for at least 10 years. There are similar rules for other benefits. Now, if you got a green card at a later time in your life, uh, let's say you're in your late 50s or your 60s and then you get a green card, then it's not that easy to be earning enough money to pay social security taxes. In that case, if you have a property in your home country, if you just put that property on rent, you can easily make some money, you can show some income without actually doing much work. If you sell the property, you can only make money through the property once. But if you rent it out, you can make money over a long period of time. In the US, I have been to many grocery stores, especially Indian grocery stores and restaurants, where I have seen uh, older people working. And I sometimes used to wonder, why do these people work at the restaurants or the grocery stores? Very recently, I realized that these are people who, some way or the other, maybe through their family, maybe through their kids, uh, got a green card. I have a friend who is a US citizen. He was actually born in the United States and then he went back to India where he did all his education. He came back to the United States a few years ago and then get a job. Since he is a United States citizen, he could easily get his mother to come to the United States. Because she is a dependent, she could get the green card very easily. But even after getting a green card, she was not eligible for social security benefits. She needs to show income for at least 10 years. And this is the reason why I have seen so many people who are in their 50s or 60s working at grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, and so many other places. The amount of money that you need to make to be eligible to pay social security taxes is not that much. It's about $15,000 a year. But unless you make that much money, you will not be eligible for the benefits. And you need to make this money for about 10 years. Now, this is where the property in the home country comes at a great advantage. You can put this property on rental or on a lease. If you get a 10 year lease, that would be great. And then use the money that you collect as lease or as rent as income for social security benefits. The main conclusion is that um, even after getting a green card, you need to have paid social security taxes for at least 10 years. If you're getting a green card at a later time in your life, in your 50s or 60s, it can get really hard to be earning money. This is a time to retire. Um, you don't want to come to the United States at a time when you want to retire to be working again just to collect social security benefits. So. This kind of a passive income through a rental property can be used to show income in the United States, which will help you collect social security benefits and other benefits later on. So do not sell your property in your hometown. Use it, save it. I know that in some cases it's not possible to maintain property, if, especially if it is in some remote village. In that case, what you should do is sell your property, but then buy a similar property or an equivalent property that can be easily maintained and whose rental income can be used to pay income taxes. I hope this information is useful. See you in the next video. Bye.